because the ready to route system is computerized, we may have to update the firmware now and then, and it gives us more benefits down the road. The good news is that this is very easy to do. Insert the thumb drive on which you've saved the update files into the USB port on the back of the machine. Next we want to insert either the shorting pin or the cable from the touch plate into this socket on the rear panel. And remember we do all this before we turn the machine on. And then while holding the magnet against the plate, I plug the machine in and let it go through its sequence. Now it won't look like it's doing anything initially, and there'll be a few beeps along the way, but you just have to wait because this can take about two minutes. And when the screen comes on, just follow the prompts. Notice that throughout this, I'm still holding the magnet in contact with the touch plate. If you use the shorting pin, you don't have to do this, but I always have the touch plate right close at hand. And when the process is done, you'll come up to the normal welcoming screen. And we can press continue and see what's changed inside. The warning screen is the same because way too many of us will forget it if they don't put it on there every time. Touch the about button and we can see that the new version of the firmware is installed. Now when we go into the apps directory, we can see that there's a few new routines added to the list. And we'll look at those in videos coming up. And that's all it takes. Remember to remove your thumb drive and the ready to route system is ready for use.